What's up guys, this is the Redstone Scientist, and I'm actually feeling kind of sick today, so my voice is kind of iffy, um, and kind of low, but um, I will be showing you my uh, super compact word processor <coughs> that uh, also is the absolute fastest word processor. So, uh, this is the entire thing right here. This is the size of it. Um, now there might be a little bit of lag and it might not be as fast as it, as it normally is because of, uh, the fact that I'm recording. But, uh, as you can see I was already typing something. Uh, let me switch to the default, uh, in, uh, the resource pack that I created, which is letters. Okay, so here is the resource pack right here. You can see I have all of the various, uh, things set up. Uh, now the cursor is off right now. So I'm going to turn the cursor on. You can see it changes the, to the word on right there. Um, and that is the cursor right there, the white marker. Uh, so let's clear the, whoops, let's clear the screen. And let's type word, word. So watch how fast this is going to happen. Bam. O, already up there. It's already up by the time we look up. Now, um, at the moment, there's a, a problem with the right half of this slot because of um, chunk updates. And um, I've been unable to fix that for some reason. Uh, but you can just fly toward it to update it, or you can push escape twice, uh, which usually updates it. Uh, there's a guide in this chest right here, um, but it is incredibly small. Um, as you can see, it's actually the box is bigger than the actual device because um, it needs to have a, a space of one block above each command block in order to uh, function. You can see there's some stray command block minecarts right here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But, yeah, this is the entire thing. I took the roof off so you could see. Um, it's done by using set block and placing the redstone blocks over there. Um, now there's also the auto clear function. Now you can see we just finished typing this uh, this word, and just like a normal computer, when you would uh, like when you would start a new line, it's going to clear the screen for you. It's going to detect when you want to start a new word. So let's say we want to type the word um, dog instead of the word words. So we're going to start with the D and automatically it deletes the rest of it in order to allow you to type the rest of the word. O G. Now that function is called auto clear and I also have a function right here that turns that off. And uh, you can control that. Now when you're done with your word and you want to just display it, you can turn the cursor off like this. Um, let me show you the space function. So uh, that obviously that clears the slot you're in right now. Or if you don't want to clear it and you just want to move to the next slot, you can just push the next button. Uh, the back button is just as fast as the next button, or just as fast as any other letter. Let's type K, L, um, whoops. Well, let, let's say I don't want that. So we'll push back and back. And very quickly, we can just retype P. And uh, there we go. It's incredibly fast. Um, it is very close to the smallest. It is not the smallest I'm made aware of uh, by some posts on uh, the thread. It is not the smallest, but it is the fastest. And when you take everything into account, it could be considered the smallest. If not, it's one of the smallest. Let's put it at that. Um, and so there's very little stuff going on uh, down under here in the uh, in the keyboard. There's very little stuff going on. There's like one command block for each thing except for the on and off functions. Um, and that's just to set a scoreboard function. So it's very minimal. Uh, the bulk of the stuff is back here. Uh, I will be releasing a video sh uh, shortly of how it actually works. And I will uh, explain the mechanisms I use. Uh, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.